Now, don't get me wrong. I fuck with TikTok. TikTok has brought us many hidden gems. Tony Stadavisi, Trey Rags. It even helped in the popularity of Aiden, Kai, Speed, some of the biggest streamers that we see today. But it is literal brain rot. Now, just scrolling through my TikTok feed for the past, I don't know, week or so, I've come across some of the dumbest shit i ever seen in my life. First dumb thing I've seen this week, I've seen a man drink Bianca Sausage water. Now, Poverty 101, Hood 101, Bianca Sausages is a hood meal. We had the bologna, we had the spam, but nobody ever actually wanted to eat this shit. But to be that damn greedy, to have that big of a back in order to drink the Vienna sausage can water, and he opened it up just enough just to get the juice. It wasn't like he opened it up, took the sausages out, then drank the juice. He opened it up a little bit and tilted that bitch back like Stone Cold. That is just exhibit one of the dumb shit I've seen on TikTok. People on TikTok was weird back when we was putting NyQuil on chicken. But the next thing I seen on TikTok was ice cream snow. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell, hell no, man. man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass. This bitch just scooped up all this snow off of this patio table and about to go in the house and make ice cream out of it. If that ain't about the dirtiest shit I've never seen in my fucking life. Now it may seem cute in cartoons and in TV shows to stick your tongue out and let the snowflake fall in your mouth. But if you grew up in a black household, your mama always told you not to put that damn snow in your mouth, especially because you don't know what there could be in it. Germs, glass, anything. Now if we look on the table here, we can look at our ingredients. We have organic coconut sugar. I know that shit tastes ass. I know that shit tastes like asphalt. Ain't no way that shit good in any fucking way and that shit unrefined that shit probably tastes like grits so now what we're seeing in this video is the unwashed hands that just came from outside hands of this lady caress every last bitten piece of this snow really solidifying the fourth ingredient here of covid and dirt into this delicious treat we have here as you can see now you've got started to get the consistency of ice cream stop the cap <laughs> This bitch know that shit don't look nothing like ice cream. That shit look like sand. That shit look like instant mashed potatoes. Tastes like childhood. It's like, like a sorbet. It's like a sorbet. It's like sorbet. She know that shit do not taste like no goddamn sorbet. That shit sound dry as fuck. Ain't no moisture. I refuse to believe that you can just go outside, scoop up some dirty ass snow, and then throw some condensed milk and sugar on it, and then stir it up, and then wham, you got ice cream. That shit look like if the chum bucket sold dessert. Like, Plankton definitely whipped this shit up in the kitchen. It's really good. And look at, look at how much, and you know how cheap that is? Uh, yeah. Compared to buying ice cream for everybody. I mean, it looks amazing. It tastes good. It tastes like ice cream. It tastes like Chick-fil-A ice cream. Chick-fil-A ice cream. This shit don't look like it tastes nothing like Chick-fil-A, nothing off of their damn menu. She does straight up lie just for TikTok views, which is sad. And you know what's a consistency I seen with this ice cream snow trend? The only people who are doing this are people who lack melanin. No people of melanin are doing this trend. And it's annoying because I fuck with the Caucasians. I'm black, but I'm half milkman. I promise. I love my white women. You know what I'm saying? But that's for another video. But y'all be pissing me off with these new TikTok quirky recipes that y'all be finding on y'all own. Now time for hands down the most dumbest shit I've seen this week on TikTok. There's been a question floating around asking women would they rather be trapped in a forest with a man or a bear? And I can't believe the short bus smooth brain answers that they have been giving. Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear? Bear. Man is scary. Did this bitch just say men are scary while talking to a fucking man? Bitch, you are talking to a fucking man. Um, with a bear. Always attack you, right? Unless you like fuck with them. So maybe a bear. <laughs> Prob depends what man, but probably a bear. A hundred percent a bear, which is like terrifying to say, but definitely a bear. Some men are very scary out there. A bear. Day by day, you are nine times out of 10 going to meet a man or walk by one. And you'd rather be trapped in a forest with a bear. They are letting their negative encounters with certain men 
probably in a relationship influence their choice on whether they would be trapped in a forest with a man or a bear. Now, I don't know what the fuck they think they're going to see in this forest. Some big open season ass bear who's going to greet them with open arms. Some yogi bear who's going to walk up in a suit and tie and go, ho oh, ho ho, lady, are you lost? But a bear's nails are like nine inches fucking long. He would claw your goddamn face off. Bears aren't nice. There are multiple occasions where they are tamed for viral videos or where they are nice for the time being just for the sake of like food or something that they're eating in the meantime. But bears attitudes can change at the drop of a dime. God forbid you're walking through this forest and you walk through a bear's hunting ground and where that bear starts to feel intimidated because someone else is in its hunting ground. Bears can fight. Bears can swim. Bears can climb almost any fucking surface. There's almost no getting away from a bear once it wants you, especially if you're in its habitat. Right now, I can name 10 niggas who don't know how to swim, let alone climb some tree after you. Now, of course, this sparked outrage, so we had our scientists, our wildlife experts strap up and put their helmets on, their thinking caps, and really try to explain to the men why these women are picking bear. TikTok right now, women are responding to the question, would you rather encounter a bear or a man while alone in the woods. And most women are saying that they would rather encounter a bear because they believe they are safer in the presence of a bear. 750,000 black bears in North America, oh unalive, less than oh, one person per no, year no, on no, average. Fuck, man. Men aged 18 to 24 ass, are 167 times more likely oh, to be unalive. Now these statistics may be cute, but a black bear is literally one of the most docile of the bears. They be losing to like rabbits and stuff. I swear to be losing to like wolverines and shit in fights. But as for the statistics, you are around men 24 seven. So of course you would get attacked by something that you're around 24 seven than a bear where you're not at 24 seven. When are you ever in the woods? Of course the statistics for male on female attacks will be higher than bear on female attacks because you're never in the fucking woods, but no one uses their brain on TikTok. I swear to you, everyone does not need a platform. What made this video so much more sweeter is that a couple days ago, a video was going viral of a girl getting robbed at gunpoint by some six, five guy in a hoodie and there's a guy watching and the comments are destroying him. This is why we chose the bear and a man is just sitting by watching pathetic pussy lame all these comments. They're outraged at why this man would not stand up and help this woman. But here's the thing. I don't blame buddy. It was a six, three nigga with a gun and he walked up on her like, bitch, give me your phone. And she got the nerd to Reese for the magazine. What the fuck are we doing? That is the dumbest shit I ever heard in my life. If somebody walk up on you and ask you for your phone, you give it to them, especially if they got a damn gun. Now all the women and even some of the men in the world are expecting this man to stand up from this grass, put on his Batman cowl and go to work on this fiend, this creepy crawler, this thief. And essentially maybe five times out of 10, get his head blown the fuck off. Mama crying, sister crying, brother crying, grandma crying, all because she didn't essentially want to give up her phone. Buddy better than me. If she had looked at me, I would have closed my eyes. I probably would have ran away. I probably would have turned around and act like I ain't see it. Women are going to have to start realizing that you can't have your cake and eat it too. Either you want men or you don't want men. You need us or you don't need us. You want chivalry or you don't want chivalry. You can't have both things. And if you're listening to this and you disagree with what I'm saying, then call the goddamn bear to help you then. Let's go. What you mean you don't fuck with me? I mean, back then you used to be my wife, used to be my life, used to be my everything. Shorty wanna come back and suck us. Hey, I'm moving on to the next thing. Then I'm in You could have been my homebody.